Uh, so would you guys be able to tell us where your headspace is at while you're creating this record? Oh, that's, I think it's hard to say because it took so long. It yeah. was processed for two years. So uh, it wasn't like one feeling that we uh, that we had um, over the whole writing process. I think it's like different. And maybe you can hear our a small development in the songs. When you listen to Reflections was the first single and now maybe uh, God's Good Goodbye. But all in all, I would say it was we had a, a, some some changes uh, in the band. Um, so the lineup in the band changed. We said goodbye to uh, to a longest uh, member of the band, and he also was writing songs when he was in the band. So that was, I think, with the first three songs, he was still involved. I guess. Yes. <laughs> yes, and after that. Um, yeah, we had to think about a new way of, of songwriting a bit. Um, it wasn't that hard because uh, Valentin, our uh, guitarist, also write, uh, wrote the songs. But yeah, it all felt kind of like um, endings and new beginnings. Like the word transience, uh, yeah, where it fits so well. Well, <laughs> So yeah, maybe there were a lot of changes going on, but in a positive way. <laughs> and that was always a feeling that we had in mind while writing I, i'd say yeah, yeah. It's good. robin was it similar for you um yes definitely and also i think um yeah for me and lila we also put a lot of personal stuff into the lyrics um this time definitely more than on solace mm -hmm. and um yeah i think everyone had some hard times this year and also last year and uh, especially for me, I put uh, a lot of uh, personal stuff into Reflections. Uh, I mean, in Radiate Me and also in Braille, which are, yeah, in the end now, two pretty personal songs for me. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah. yeah. But also what Lila said, like a lot of internal structure changes. And uh, yeah, in the end, it was like really looking in the future and... Um, yeah, this was our way to go. Gotcha. Um, was was there any? Is there any sort of anxiety in putting out songs where you guys have put more of yourself personally into than on the last album, or are you guys just like, it's a song, it is what it is, you know, and just and just put it out there since there is more of you in it this time around. Uh, I would say there's. Yeah, you can answer. Uh yeah. I mean, um, I think we definitely get more comfortable with the whole thing, like putting a lot of personal emotions and topics into the songs. The only thing that I still feel a little bit strange about is um, sometimes in interviews, if you are, I mean, if you just give out the song and everyone's listening to them, then usually no one really gets like the real topic, what happened here, as it's like kind of a metaphoric stuff, you know, but sometimes on interviews, you just get asked about it and um, Sometimes I'm not sure here if we really should share the whole story or yeah. just keep it to ourselves so that everyone can, um, yeah, put their own story into the song while listening to it. Yeah, um, yeah that's my, my feeling about it. But I think in general, it's getting more easier just to talk about all the stuff that happened. That's good. Mm -hmm. Is it similar for you, Lila? Yeah, it's... Uh... Almost the same, and I think, um, yeah, you get you get used to it from time to time. And um, we have a lot of um, people coming to us after the shows and telling us that they um, felt that they really felt the songs and the lyrics behind them, and that they, yeah, found found solace in them. Maybe <laughs> so that's something that makes me feel good about it, and that. Um, tells me that I shouldn't stop putting personal stuff in here because there's so many things that others feel the same. And how would you know if you didn't talk about it? So. Hell yeah, absolutely. Exactly. 